Monday, January 13th. The preparations for the potlatch are going extremely well. Mum told us stories from her very first potlatch, and when she first saw a copper, which was worth over 1,700 blankets. Only 100 years ago, blankets were the official currency. At each feast, coppers were put on display, which made them even more valuable. Awesome! Wednesday, January 15th. Granny arrived today and began telling us all the old stories of spirits, animal people, and the first white settlers round here. I didn't know that potlatches were once prohibited. Who bans a Thanksgiving festival anyways? Especially one where hundreds of people would come together and hand out presents to just everyone. Who? Well, the Canadian government did exactly that early last century. Friday, January 17th. Today my brother came home and told us about a computer game based on us about a copper hidden in a cave that you must seek. He then went off to play the game and prepare himself for the dance. And me? I was in the kitchen the whole time. Saturday, January 18th. Just before the dance, Granny told us another story of the Raven Clan, that once they had welcomed a Norwegian captain who bought everything he could. He even stole skulls from the cemetery, apparently thinking we wouldn't notice. One time he fell into a swamp, freezing and shivering. Granny told us that for fun, they started including a song of the freezing Norwegian in the potlatch for the children to dance to. Anyways, let's put on some warm shoes and celebrate.